So let's say we've got this question here. P is the point 2 minus 3, Q is the point minus 1, 6. And we want to find the equation of the line which is perpendicular to line PQ. And it passes through that point P. So we know we've got two points in the line. So if we've got two points in this line, we know we can find the gradient of the line. So we could say the gradient of the line, we'll call that gradient M PQ. Well, that's going to equal our Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. So we could say our Y2 is going to be 6 minus a Y1, which is minus 3. And that's going to be divided by our X2, which is minus 1, minus X1, which is 2. So that's going to give us 6 minus minus 3, so that's going to be 9, all divided by minus 3. So the gradient of that is going to be minus 3. Now we know that the line that we're interested in has going to be perpendicular to this line. So that means that we can write out the gradient MPQ times the gradient of the line that we're looking for must equal minus 1 because they're perpendicular. So we just put the numbers in. So we've got MPQ is minus 3 times the value of our line and the gradient we're interested in is going to equal minus 1. So that means that the gradient we're interested in, M, is going to equal 1 upon 3. So now we've got the point, the gradient of the line, which is 1 upon 3, and we know the line must pass through the point P. So we've got a gradient and we've got a point. So if we get a gradient and a point, then we can use our little equation. Y minus B equals M times X minus A. So we just put the numbers in. We're going to have y minus b. Well, b is going to be minus 3. So it's minus minus 3 is going to equal the gradient, which is 1 upon 3 times x minus the a. Well, the a is going to be 2. So now we just have to multiply this out and transpose. So that's going to give us y is equal to, well, it's going to be 1 upon 3x minus, well, that's going to be 2 upon 3. And the minus cancel out with the minus gives us a plus, And when we take it across, it becomes minus 3. So finally, we're going to be left with the equation of our line is going to be y is equal to 1 upon 3x. So that's two, minus 2 upon 3. Well, that's all upon 1, so that would be equivalent to 9 upon 3. So it would be minus 2 upon 3 minus 9 upon 3 is minus 11 upon 3. So this here is the equation of the line, which is perpendicular to the line PQ and passes through the point P. Now, if you don't believe me or if you want to check, you can take this here and you can put it into the graphical calculator. And you could also work out the equation of this line here and put it in the graphical calculator as well and check and see if the results are actually correct and that they do sit perpendicular. So why don't you try this one yourself? We've got a line AB. So the points A is minus 1, minus 2, and B is A, comma 1. And we want you to find the line which is perpendicular to the line AB and that passes through the midpoint of the line AB. Now I worked this out and the answer is going to be y equals minus 3x plus 10. So why don't you just pause the video and go ahead, get a pen and a piece of paper and try this by yourself before we go ahead and work through the actual worked example. So go on, press the pause and give it a go. Okay, so let's work our way through this one. We've got two points on a line, so we know we can find the equation of, we can find the gradient of that line. So the gradient of the line M AB is going to equal our, well, our Y2 minus Y1, which is 1 minus 
minus 2 divided by your x2 minus x1, so it's going to be 8 minus minus 1. So that's going to give us 1 minus minus 2, which is going to be 3 upon 8 minus minus 1, which is 9, which is going to be equal to 1 upon 3. Now we know we're looking for the line that's perpendicular to this line. So the gradient of the perpendicular line is going to be given by, well, we're going to have our 1 upon 3 times the gradient of the line that we're looking for is going to equal minus 1 because they're perpendicular. So that means that the gradient of the line that we're looking for, m must equal minus 3. So we've got the gradient of the line we're looking for, and we know that this line passes through the midpoint of this line AB. But what is the midpoint of the line AB? Well, we can get the x coordinate for the midpoint if you say minus 1 plus 8 upon 2. So we've got minus 1 plus 8 upon 2. So that's going to give you the x coordinate of the midpoint. And the y coordinate of the midpoint is going to be minus 2 plus 1 all up in 2. So it means that the midpoint is going to be given by 7 upon 2, comma, and that's going to be minus 1 up in 2. So now we've got the gradient of the line m equals minus 3, and we've got the point on the line. So we know from the gradient and the point, we can use our equation y minus b equals m times x minus a. So we'll put the numbers in. We'll have y minus, well, b is going to be a half. So that's minus, minus a half, which is plus a half, equals the gradient m, which is minus 3, times x minus the a coordinate. Well, the a coordinate is 7 upon 2. So now we just transpose this equation. So we're going to have y is going to equal, we'll multiply this out. So it's going to be minus 3x. And it's going to be minus times minus is a plus. So it's going to be plus 21 upon 2. So that's going to be plus 21 upon 2. And we have our plus half here. When we take it across, it'll become minus a half. So finally, we can write out our equation is going to be y is going to equal minus 3x. Now, plus 21 over 2 minus 1 up in 2 is plus 20 up in 2, and 20 up in 2 is plus 10. So here is our final answer, and that's the same as the answer we have above. So thank you for listening. I'll get you on the next video. Goodbye.